Hey guys, it's Callum Riley here, and yes, I'm in a different house again. Um, but as you've already guessed by the title, it is a review on the Flying Scotsman. So, the Flying Scotsman, if you don't know, if, and you should know, um, is the most famous steam locomotive in the world. It did. It was a well. It was presumably the first locomotive to go, or steam locomotive to go, 100 miles an hour. Um, but there's another claim of City of Churro doing it first. So, so yeah, but there, but there's evidence in Flying Scotsman's history stuff. Anyway, so this is an old model um, from the 1980s. So it is like these two wheels here. I do have them, but one of the front wheels are gone, so I can't really use them. Um, as you can see, the nameplate there, it's very hard to read, but it does say Flying Scotsman. Um, the livery is really nice. I do love this apple green, and with the uh, white stripes on it as well. It's very good. Uh, there, there. It, that's very nice. Um, the lettering on the cab, uh, I think, has been printed on. Um, that's very nice as well, 4472. The linkage is good, but um, on this bit here, this is missing like a little bit of valve or valve gear. So, yeah, I'm not sure what the actual term of it is called, but yeah, it's not there. Sorry if it went too close to the camera. Just trying to get comfortable. <laughs> there we go. Um, bear with me for a minute. There we go. So, yeah, the Flying Scotsman, it is a very nice steam locomotive. Uh, there is cab detail, but it's not painted, because you won't really see it. But there is detail in there. Um, it's just... I've had this for quite a while now, and... Let me tell you, when I ran it last night, it ran like a dream. <laughs> it was just... It, ha it hasn't ran in five years, and when it first ran, oh, last night, it just, it's like it was new out of the box. Uh, this is quite heavy as well, it's quite a heavy model, um, which is good. Um, as you can see underneath, there is like the gear, and then like the motor up there. Um, the motor will be in the boiler, but there is quite a bit of weight on it. Moving on to the tender. So the tender is a LNER corridor tender, which, um, yeah, there's like a little door there, and when like they're doing long runs, there'll be a driving fireman in the Flying Scotsman's cab, and then another one would like come through uh, the corridor in the tender, and then they'll swap over, and then they'll carry on driving the train. Um, so yeah, it was a good... It, Worked pretty well. It was a great design by Sir Nigel Grizzly. Um, as you can see, there is a door there. The coal is uh, very nice. Uh, this doesn't really have that much weight in it because it is just plastic. Um, the coupling, um, this uh, new coupling um, that I got. So, yeah, I replaced it from a bottle uh, cap because that's what the original coupling was. So I decided to um, change it. Like I said, the Colt is very nice. Um, it's very high. And it is very shiny. But, oh well. And they've even got like the little shovel there. Or little, you know, thing. So I think it's quite nice. Um, the little water cap there. Or the water tank. The uh, springs on the wheels, they are nicely done. Uh, the lettering is LNER, I think that's printed on as well. The apple green livery, livery and the white stripes is beautiful. Um, unfortunately, this doesn't have buffers either and they aren't sprung. <coughs> but, um, yeah. So, oh yeah, let's go back to the engine. Um, the back bogey does move and um, go up and down. The uh, detail on that is quite nice. 
Um, there's a little brass like safety valve up there, and the dome is like what the Flying Scotsman d did have. Um, the Flying Scotsman now isn't actually in this livery. It's in the BR green livery, the dark livery. But this is what it would have looked like um, when Alan Pegler bought it, and he repainted it. So yeah, that's what the Flying Scotsman looks like. It is a beautiful engine. Um, I recommend you get a model of the Flying Scotsman because it is just exquisite. It's just <sighs> words can't describe it at all. It's just brilliant. But um, yeah, I'll do a part two of this um, of it running on my layout downstairs. But um, yeah, it is a very nice locomotive. I do recommend you getting one. Uh, I think Hornby still do them. I'm not too sure because I haven't looked on the website in a while. But yeah, um, I like this video here. Please note some video ideas in the comment section down below. If you like my videos, please give them a good thumbs up and don't forget to hit the notification bell just so you don't miss any of my new videos. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye!